This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Okay, so we've gone through and played around with some weird and wonderful theories from Medigliani and Miller uh, with their no tax and their tax theories. Uh, hopefully you've had a little bit of time to practice some questions. If not, do make sure that you do. Uh, because what we've got now is we've got the M&M &M formulae to consider as well, okay? Uh, of which you can see that there's two here. Don't worry, don't stress. Uh, you don't need to go through there and learn them. Uh, although if you practice enough questions, they'll become second nature to you and you will learn them automatically. Uh, they will be given to you within the formula sheet, okay? Uh, so what you've got there, the first formula uh, wants us to go through there and work out, is it the cost of equity? Uh, and it refer to it as KEG, okay? Uh, KEG being the cost of equity for a geared company. Because remember, that's what the theories are doing, isn't it? The theories are looking at what happened to the cost of equity and the weighted average cost of capital as we introduce more and more debt. So we start off with the cost of equity for an ungeared company, which you can see there is KEU, okay? Uh, and then what we go through and do is as we introduce more debt, the cost of equity should increase, shouldn't it? Okay. As we introduce a little bit more risk into the business with that extra debt, uh, we need to go through there and see by how much that changes the cost of equity. Okay. So you've got your formula there. Uh, KEG is equal to KEU plus the difference between KEU and the cost of debt, KD. Uh, just bear in mind that KD is pre-tax. Uh, then you multiply it by VD over VE. So just be careful. Uh, VE and VD. They are market values. And you multiply that by one less than rate of corporation tax. I haven't seen any questions that try and confuse you by putting in personal tax as well. Remember, personal tax is ignored. We just look there, don't we, at the rate of corporation tax. So using the formula, we can work out the cost of equity for a geared company. Uh, what we can also then do is think about the weighted average cost of capital. Uh, so the weighted average cost of capital takes the ungeared cost of equity. Uh, because remember, uh, an ungeared business, the weighted average cost of capital and the cost of equity are going to be the same, aren't they? Because there is zero debt. Okay, So it has to be equal to the weighted average cost of capital and the cost of equity for the ungeared business. However, as we go through there and introduce more debts, we need to adjust the weighted average cost of capital and we adjust it by this factor here, don't we? Okay, uh, one less, again, VD multiplied by T over the market values of equity plus the market values of your debts. Okay, uh, I think the challenge that you have is essentially tapping the numbers in on your calculator and understanding what happening or what is happening within the question. Okay. So let's go through there and have a look, see what we've got. Uh, the example for the m and formula says in part A, calculate the cost of equity after raising the debt. Okay, so the cost of equity after raising the debt is that KEG. Uh, so if you've raised debt, it's for a geared company, isn't it? And the cost of equity is KEG. Uh, and it wants us to work out the weighted average cost of capital before and after raising the debt okay uh, so make sure you read it carefully it wants to whack twice okay uh, so it says london plc is an ungeared company uh, so that cost of equity at 15 percent is keu isn't it okay so it might help if we write some of the information down as we see it keu is 15 percent isn't it uh, they propose raising debt at KD, which is their pre-tax. So KD is 8%. Uh, and have estimated that the resulting gearing ratio of debt to equity will be 0 0.4. Okay. The rate of tax, T, or little t, it doesn't really matter, is 30%. Olden days, 30% tax, that's sky high these days, isn't it? Okay, much lower than what it used to be. Uh, so what have we got? It was the cost of equity after raising the debt. Okay, uh, so if we're going to go through there and think about it in terms of part A, uh, I will write the formula out. There's no need for you to go through there and do so 
within the exam. Just put the numbers in as you meet them. So it's KEU plus the difference between KEU and KD multiplying that by VD, the market value of debt, multiplied by one less the tax charge over the value of equity. Use the formula sheet in the exam. Don't try and remember it. You'll only make a subtle mistake. So once you've got that, it's just a case of putting the numbers in, isn't it? Uh, what have we got? Cost of equity was 15%, wasn't it? So that's 0 0.15 plus. My cost of equity was 0 0.15 and the cost of debt was 0 0.08. Okay. Uh, we then multiply that by the value of debt, which is 0 0.4. The value of equity which will therefore be 1 because it's 0 0.421 debt over equity and if you go through there and tap that into your calculator uh, what you will get again I'll show you how to go through and work it I haven't got my calculator with me at this point in time I suppose I could use my mobile phone couldn't I hopefully my mobile phone is on silent but there we go uh, so what we've got uh, is you need to work out this bit first, brackets first, isn't it? Okay, uh, so 0.4 multiplied by 1 less 0 0.3, 1 less 0 0.3, 0 0.7, 0 0.7 times 0.4 is that 0 0.28. So we have 0 0.15 plus, that will be, is it 0 0.07 multiplied by, is it the 0 0.28, okay? Excellent. Uh, multiply 0 0.28 by 0 0.07. Uh, so that gives me 0 0.15 plus, is it the 0 0.0196? So KEG is 0 0.1696, which is 16.96%, or to, to you and I, 17%. Okay, excellent. There you go, that's part A. Okay. Double check that you can do it on your calculator. Okay. If you can't, keep trying. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Uh, remember brackets over division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. I think that was something that I learned a long way, way back when I was at school. Okay, do the brackets first, do the division, uh, multiplication, then addition, subtraction. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Uh, part B is to then go through and work out the weighted average cost of capital uh, before and after. So if we're going through there and thinking about it before, well, that's nice and straightforward because the weighted average cost of capital will be equal to the cost of equity for the ungeared company, which is at 15%, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you could go through and put it in as the formula if you so wish because before... Uh, before raising any debt then the value of debt is zero so what happens here is if the value of debt is zero then that part of the formula collapses to zero one less zero is one one multiplied by the cost of equity for the ungeared company is the cost of equity for the ungeared company does that make sense no yes it does Excellent. Good, good. Uh, the issue that you've then got is looking at what happens afterwards uh, so what you've got there afterwards, the weighted average cost of capital is equal to the cost of equity for the ungeared company multiplied by one less, is it VD multiplied by T over the value of equity. Okay. Oh, careful. Uh, I, I went slightly off track there, didn't I? And decided to do it without the formula sheet. Whoa. Oh good demonstration there to make sure that you always use that formula sheet okay excellent so it's just a case of substituting in the numbers now isn't it keu 15 percent so 0 0.15 as a decimal uh you then have is it one less uh vd which is 0 0.4 multiplied by the rate of tax which is 0 0.3 over the value of equity plus debt which is the uh, equal to one plus the 0 0.4 isn't it okay uh, so what you've got then if you tap that into your calculator again do 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.3 so do this little bit 
first. Hopefully you will all be happy with using your calculator. So 0 0.4 times by 0 0.3. Uh, so is that 0 0.12 on the bottom? It's 1.4. Uh, and then one less that answer. Do, 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 do. If I can tap that into my calculator, 0. 0.12 divided by 0. 0.4 uh, gives you is it 0. 0.914? And then you multiply 0. 0.914 times by 0. 0.15. Uh, it should work out at 13.71%. Okay. Excellent. Again, do the brackets first, but don't forget to do the multiplication and the division before you do any of the subtraction. Okay, so do the 0 0.12 divided by the 1.4. Do one less your answer. I think it was 0 0.9 something, wasn't it? And then multiply it by the 0 0.15. Okay, that gives you 13.71 after compared to 15% before, which... If we start applying it to the theories now, it makes a little bit more sense, doesn't it? Because what you can go through and see there is that as we've increased the level of debt, uh, the weighted average cost of capital has fallen, Okay, which is what we had uh, in terms of M&M's theory from 1963 with tax, wasn't it? Okay. Likewise, as well, you can see the reason why that weighted average cost of capital has fallen is because the, the cost of equity for that geared business has increased hasn't it it was 15 percent uh, it's now nearly up there to, to, to 17 percent okay excellent you're never going to have to tie in the numbers to the theory you need to learn the theory learn the assumptions you need to learn the formula you don't need to learn the formula you need to know how to apply the formula and the numbers in the formula uh, and then that's that for this part of the syllabus okay i'll see you in the next session when we begin to start looking at debt a long-term debt in a little bit more detail. But for now, goodbye.